See, I like Aurora's draft better. Do you? I, I like how uh, I agreed with Renmar over there. You know, he's like, yeah, I love all the flexibility that TNC started with the first three picks. And then, you know, obviously it falls in place. And I think, again, that can be a part you can play in the draft where it's an, it's an advantage, you know? But again, when I look at the lineup here that TNC's bringing, granted the fact, too, that this is a different iteration of TNC. Another new lineup. Another new lineup, which is good. They kind of need to go through this process. Um, I, I want to see them be able to execute this, especially with the lineup that they brought for game one. Yeah, it's, it's one thing to introduce the flexibility, but another to come through with it once the game begins. So let's go from lane to lane here. Kozen up against Doming. And again, Bruno is such an amazing duelist. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised that we're not seeing him as often these days. Ooh, yeah, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, Doming's going to get crashed into here. Flickers forward. What? Kozen going to be fine. Don't tell me, Doming, somehow, some way. Still able to survive the 1v2. TNC meet TNS. Woo. The next standard. The next you standard. You see that? Yeah. Any other carry, hell, even my very low standard, but my, <laughs> I would have died. I, any one of us would have died. Yeah, I think so, you know. And hey, that's the utilization of a defensive flicker, if you will, although it looked pretty aggressive. <laughs> Amazing. He, he was putting himself right at the tip. Right at the tip of the shield, too. Yeah. That was, I'm sure, key. And then a little bit of hesitation from, from uh, Kazen. Yep. Would you have, again, as a Julian, would you have? I I don't know. Right? I, I guess, and at that point, it's almost too risky because if Kazen put, like, pressed that situation and he gets gapped, he could be in trouble, especially when we're talking about the jungle matchup. Demon Kite especially, you know, specialist on the assassins, does have the Nolan pick here. We've seen this pick up constantly. Now they're gonna set things up here for the turtle. Heads pushing himself out there. In the face oh. of Renegade. Look at the damage! Gonna jump in. Infernal Pursuit! We should be able to pick up a kill here, and now Rora in trouble. Kazin gonna be able to get the turtle too. Still possibly looking for more. Edward pops the primal wrap, takes a couple shots. But he's just gonna have to back off, securing the orange buff here. So TNC uh -oh. getting a bit of a lead. Oh, diversion gonna be used. Lancey, oh, what? don't tell me, Domeng. You already survived once. Get back to base. All right. First turtle going over to the Phoenix Army. Demon Kai trying to push out a skeleton from his orange. You into the rescue. They're fine. All right. So this is very trademark TNC, all right? Early yep. aggression, win big in the uh, first or second turtle. How do they follow through? Whoa. What? Wow. The jukes from Kazin. All right. With he, the enhanced sword. He did have to give away the litho. Yeah, he did. All right, so we're looking forward to that mid-game ramp up where TNC can make use of this early lead. Yeah. And then eventually deny Aurora any comebacks. And so going back to that point, you know, this is this is typical for TNC. Mm -hmm. Get the get the ball rolling. The flames are on fire, you know, early game. And I always feel like so far from what we've seen them, how do they maintain that flame? How do they keep it going? Because oh! look at the setup here in the mid lane again, implosion, the toss up on Escalera. Thrown up, tossed up, and taken out. So Aurora finds himself a kill on the board. And that is what I'm talking about. You know, TNC, they got to keep the flames alive and not get doused out here too early. That's just Hitman things. And now, oh. that's the Hitman things right in Kozen's face. Again, we were uh, singing Domingue's praise, but how about Kozen? He's pretty independent. He is, actually. Uh, you know, going with the whole gold lane experience, trying to keep it together the best he can. and. That's honestly with a Bruno, you can do that. Like he's gonna, you mentioned this earlier, 1v1 for a lot of the gold ladies. gonna be fine. Flicker gonna be used. There's the Earth Shatter too. Kays is gonna be in trouble now this time. Goes with enhanced sword again. And there's the return as Demon Kite's gonna fall down. And now looking for possibly another set here. They can't get anything yet, but UA's taking some damage. Should be able to just walk back to the turret. He's fine for now, but. Hey, back and forth here, TNC getting a lead. Kazen, amazing footwork, turning that little juke into a major objective again. Turtle one, turtle two, TNC, early game, all of them. Demon Kaisa having a great game. Talking oh. about this forward flagger! All right. Kozen. That was backwards. Doming now, using it defensively for <laughs> sure. Hey, even earlier, it was a little defensive. It was forward under the turret. It was like a forward defensive maneuver. A forward <laughs> defensive, yeah, it's an FDM. It's FDM at that point. So. But it's still the same story here, Leo. Like, you know, the, the gold laners are just going at it 1v1, duking it out, trying to get a lead on each other. And look at the gold lead, actually. Coming out from Kozen here. That's huge, a thousand about? Yeah. That's a massive lead already. You know, just going one-on-one -on -one for, for the most part. He does have the hotspot, so he's able to kind of, 
you know, obviously he takes a couple shots. Yep. He just life steals it back up. No kills. That, that was all just farming. That was all just presence of mind. Taking care of your waves, taking care of your minions. That explains the Rolex. <laughs> you got that Roly. That ro the Roly buff. <laughs> That's what it is at this point. Slowly but surely, DNC, I think this is one of uh, the key ways they can ramp up into a solid mid game. Choke hold into the late. They attack Aurora on many different fronts. Look at that. The push by Kazen up top, and then the threat on the Demon Kite's purple, who, by the way, needs it dearly. He does. Uh, definitely on the Nolan. And this is interesting, man. Like, this is. Would you say this is a different TNC than what we've seen for the past three weeks? Like, I know it is a lineup. Like, that's the apparent Obviously. Thing. But is, is it the synergy that they have, you know, even in the past that's working out here? The Minana DNA. Exactly. It's in their genes. They're used to hearing each other's voices in their heads and knowing what the other's going to do. Again, that's what synergy is. That's what chemistry was. Talking about it yesterday. Coach Arcadia. When we heard from Kirk Arcadia. Exactly. Michael Angelo Bocado knows what's up. Yeah. Baraka hits now. Going in a, the mid-game <laughs> spike. They're, they're skipping the laning phase now. We're into the final turtle rotation. Movements across the map. And look, both roamers are just crossing the border. It's like Rene J down there. Yep. And then look at where Escalera is constantly. Pretty much trying to do the same thing here. Oh, there it is, Rene J again. Oh, God! They'll get the Purify out. They drop down the Gloria's pathway, and Kazin is taken out of the picture. They're going to lose their jungler, and here's the response, though. TNC looking for blood. Oh, Edward. Gonna be able to get out with the flicker, the primal raft too. Turtle still for the taking here though, so Rora will go ahead, pull it up. Demon Kite knows no opposing jungler across from him, but Renege takes a couple shots and will go down. But it was all for that objective. Rora secures the turtle. All right, two to one. TNC did not expect for Aurora to throw that much at Kazen. He's been getting away with way too much in the first six minutes. Yeah, he has. And again, going back to it, TNC. Still holding, you know, at least control. But how long can they keep their control going? And when you're watching these skirmishes, these team fights happen before the objectives, it's so much on Edward and Renege. And so you have to constantly play against that. How do you avoid the implosions? How do you avoid the flicker setups coming out from Edward even with the, the onward earth shatter combo? So as long as TNC stays you know, locked in and their heads on a swivel, as I like to say it, then they can avoid those and hopefully get a favorable team fight. And I think that's what makes Edward maybe top three Edith in all of MPL Philippines, which basically means top three Edith in all the world. <laughs> He's able to use it defensively and offensively. Yeah. And look at this, see? Heads is trying to buy time, but look at how they're tactically oh, retreating. Oh! They're going to they down. They cut him off the glorious pathway. And they'll be able to find the hitman, Rene J, and Edward as well. Just as we talked about it, Demon Kite tries to find his own. Lancey's going to be fine, but hey, that's what we were talking about. Handle those set potentialers, those setters from Rora. And TNC does it by just cutting them off. And they didn't know where <laughs> Lancey would have come from anyways. Because look. Who would check? Look at the rest of the map. Who would check? Their two main frontliners yeah. were the ones getting chased down. And when that happens, you're, you're left just running for the hills, man. Like, <laughs> your frontliners are gone. What are you going to do? You know, at that point. That's why, again, Demon Kai just trying to, like, clean up a kill if he could. But better to call it off and try to slow things down again. Because TNC playing on the momentum they have. Even looking at the items. You know, items are falling to place. There's the wings yep. now, too, for Lancey. Still about 1,000 between Kozin yeah. and Doming. Uh, slight lead now on Demon Kite over Kazen. Uh, I think this is because Kazen has slowly tried to get better setups, so he's not taking his farm as much. And Demon Kite here, slowly going for a mid-game ramp up. And mm, maybe that's why the Nolan, despite having like a relatively bad early to mid, yeah. is still one of the most in-demand junglers. He's, he's the number one oh. juggler for burst. Rene J again doing the same thing. Implosion's going to be there. They ah. knock down Escalera. They take him out of the picture. Edward goes in with the but the infernal pursuit of heads will keep him going. But finally taken down. Still a couple members left. Domang has to flicker out. Lord's going to go in. Edward flickers in himself. They're looking for Kaze and they'll find him as Demon Kai picks up the kill. And now Lord still under half health. They're working on him. But Kozen goes in. Couldn't get the last Woo! hit on Demon Kite. But he takes out the rest of the problems there. Lord will reset, and they bring it back. And it's not like Doming was on the brink of death just five seconds ago. He just <laughs> turns on a foot style and says, you know what, I'll just take the mid anyways. I'm just going to no go mid. Nothing's happening. It's a tough past few minutes for the Zen brothers. Yeah. Kazen died. Kozen can't effectively kill. And they're going for the reset. Lord up it. about 
Four fifths of its health in. Escalada with the glorious pathway. Oh no, I think TSC wants to go commit. Oh. Oh. Dominator's Ascent gonna be used too. They go in a little bit further down the line, and now Escalera once again gonna be the focus. Renna J finds two members Lip here. Caution! They drop the damage, and Escalera's gonna be taken out as well as heads. TNC falling apart for this Lord here. They lose two, and Aurora looks to be able to just get this Lord now. Wait, hold oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. Diversion no gonna be used. No one sent. They don't send anyone, they just call it off as Lord of Security here for Aurora. What a shuffle. What a shuffle. Aurora MLBB, they were on the back foot for the better part of the first 10 minutes of the game. And suddenly, even after that free pickoff from TNT down bottom on Renegy and Edward, yep. they're able to play footies enough. And again, Joseph, Joseph, they were Daniel. pressuring mid. They just kept, <laughs> Dominic never went home. He didn't. He's just, uh, I'm just gonna take Guys, this. I got the mid. Clear the waves, all right. And now, I would reckon he has closed the gap between him and Kozen. I, yeah, we, we would have to see the numbers, but I'm pretty sure after all the, the last couple minutes he's after done that. After all that? After all that, he's at that point where he's going to be pretty much, I don't know, even or above, but right now they're going to be pushing into possibly the base here once things get aligned. And I would say, too, for Rora, that's the thing. TNC, we talked about, can they maintain that ignition on the wings? Well, it just got doused out. That's the problem that we see here from TNC. Now, the, can they rise to the occasion of defending this push that's going to come from Aurora? And you can expect Renege or Edward Whoa. to possibly force a fight if they want to. They slowly work on the shields. Holy shields are going to be down. Yeah, pop. Mid turret still stands because they got to respect the damage too. Escalera lays down the glorious pathway just to cut him off. Gets oh. the flick around from Edward too. But I think that's all they get whoa, here. Whoa, 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 look at this, a diversion. diversion. No, oh, they're gonna send it in! Implosion! Red J implosions, he's gonna be able to find Kozen. Kozen's the target, they get him down. And heads too, even with the Infernal Pursuit as Lancey goes down next. Three members of TNC, they wanted to go with a diversion, and they end up getting smacked down. Choked up, face down, burnt out. Now push him in mid, just Kazen left to defend. Only Kazen left, no minion waves though just yet what? to push in further. They're forcing it. They'll rely on the Nightmaric spawn, they want the turret, they get it. Hard fought three seconds, just, ah, just, just keep going. <laughs> just hold on, Nightmaric spawn. <laughs> All right, a minute until the next Lord. Aurora have hit Supernova, approaching 5,000 gold in 13 minutes. Joseph, I think TNC have got to come up with new tricks. Luckily, their lineup is very much capable, right? Yeah. You, you can find more angles through Lancey's diversion. Maybe... Just not like that. Not like the last not, one. Not like that. Don't send Kozen. Kozen was Point right blank. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he needs a little space. He's, he's more like a midfielder. Yeah. He's not a striker. Uh, maybe... I don't know if Heads is fully built. Maybe, maybe Heads can be a little chunkier. Yeah. Think about how you can use him to force out a response from Aurora. And then Escalera. I think that's one huge point that we can use. Escalera has been using maybe the Glorious Pathway three out of five times in the past 13, 14 minutes. Yep. Like a, like a barrier. Yeah, it's, it's like a cutoff. Like, yeah. don't touch this lob. Yeah, maybe rotate it 90 <laughs> degrees and then use it to where the fight should happen. Yeah. I mean, I know that's easier said than done, but that's, that's an option. That's a theory. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, the version case it! I don't know if that was planned or that clearly had to be a mistake. I mean, blindly setting your jungler over there. Would like to see what Kazen looks like right now on the player cams. Whoa. All right. Well, Lord secured Ferrara on a huge mistake from TNC. Nonchalant? My, my, was that a miscomp? Was that a, was that a communication breakdown? That had to be. I just don't see in a world where the call would have been Kazen. I'm gonna send you up to the Lord. I don't think he was H O T T O G O. He wasn't ready, man. Yeah, he was not ready. What? And that could be a dire mistake, just that play alone. As we were talking about TNC, what could they do to turn this game around? And now they're forced to just kind of defend at the base here. Aurora, massive lead, Lord pushing in the mid. They only have one base turret left. Oh no, and there's an enhanced Lord marching through mid. Fat waves through top and bottom. Let's see, Kazen already respawned. You are picking up the HC. Crashing up top first. Yep, couple shots on Renegade. He's at half health. Lord's still gonna be worked on here. Demon Kite puts some pressure on heads. 
Edwards will be stymied as well. Of course, Pathway's gonna come down, Bang. but Renna J will be solved. They're still gonna be fighting through. Lord has to be taken care of. Escalera's out of the picture. Finally, the Lord goes down, holding on to half the base health here. Lancy! UA flickers out, but Lancy will be taken down. And now they just look to lock on the base as Rora takes game number one.